Hi everybody, so today we have a wireless pan tilt uh, camera. Um, and this is one of those indoor, like a pet or, or babysitting camera that you can use. So let's go ahead and open up the box here. Um, kind of go through what's in here. So why don't you go ahead and open up that for me. So in the box, it's got uh, the box of the accessories. Looks like it's the power adapter. And then you also have the camera itself. Uh, with the instruction manual. So we'll go ahead and, oh, perfect. So it's got a USB-C um, cord that plugs into it. Let's go ahead and unwrap the camera here. So it's nice and compact. It's got the sticker over the lens here. So we'll go ahead and take that off. All right, so there's that. Uh, it's got mounting hardware that if you wanted to mount it onto the wall, um, and have it there. It's got a mounting plate with the screws and anchors that you can put into your wall and then you can do this. Now a couple of things about this is that this has got 360 degrees of rotation and panning. Um, so that makes it really nice and we'll show you that in just a second. A um, couple of the other things that it does is it is it does connect to the Vico Home uh, app on your phone and we'll show you that interface as well. But you can scan this QR code um, or you can search for Vico Home and you can download the app and then it's really easy. Perfect, thank you. Perfect, uh, easy to get it connected and everything else like that. So what we'll do is we're gonna put it up on our bookshelf over here. We've got pets that are out and about at our house when we are all uh, gone and at work and stuff like that and at school. So this will be really nice to kind of keep an eye on what's going on when we're not around. So we'll go ahead and get this put up on the shelf uh, we'll show you the Vico Home interface and how that all works and then we'll do a quick test of the camera itself and show you all the rotation and the angles that you can get with it. So we will be right back. Alrighty, so we've got our our power cord and it comes with the cord and the adapter. We're going to go ahead and plug this in into our power strip back here. And then the cord will just plug into the back of the camera, just like this. And we'll put it up on the shelf, just like that. And then what we will do is we will go ahead and get into the Vico Home app. We'll get this all connected. Oh, there you go, you can see it. Okay, so it's powered up. You saw that? We're gonna go ahead and get into the Vico Home app and we'll show you the interface to get that all connected. All right, so here you see the Vico Home app opening up. You'll just click the plus sign up there to add a new device and indicate that it's a plug-in device and then click on the next step and it will automatically, it will be chirping at you so you'll be able to select it and then you'll have it connect to your Wi-Fi um, on your home network, which you can see here as we're going through onto our Wi-Fi network. Uh, you will wanna make sure that your device, your phone, or whatever you're using to run the app is connected to the uh, Wi-Fi network, and then it will confirm everything and it will ask you to join the local network on the camera itself so that you can get everything set up. Uh, and then it will go through the discovery process of connecting to the camera to make sure that you have everything set up that way. Uh, and that can take a little bit, but you'll hear the chiming on the camera subside as it connects to the network. Um, and then it's recognized by the app. Um, and then you'll be able to follow the uh, progress as it goes through with each of these check marks as it goes through. And then once it's all done, it will initialize the device. You'll hear it chime one more time, uh, and then you'll be able to uh, see it as it goes through. Uh, you can name it. We called ours our pet camera. Uh, as again, as I said, we are gonna be using ours to really keep tabs on our, ta our uh, cats and our dogs. Um, and we'll also indicate that it's in our living room, and then it's gonna test the Wi-Fi strength of your home network that you have it connected to. You'll indicate one more time how you plan to use it, uh, and then it will walk you through adjusting the angle 
uh, and the installation. Again, we have ours just on a bookshelf, um, but it does have the hardware necessary to be able to uh, install it on a wall. Uh, you will want to update the software. I did that off camera. Um, and then there you see it. The top camera there is our pet camera with the live view. All right, so we're going to show the live view now from the camera. You see my son there playing with Legos and our cat there on the couch next, uh, not too far away from him. You'll see the panning and the rotation uh, controls there, the arrows up, down, left, right. Down below, there's the microphone button where you can actually speak through the app, through the camera to whoever is uh, you can see on the camera. There's also on the left-hand side, you'll see a video camera and a regular camera, like a still camera icon. You can tap on those to record or take a still. Uh, then there is the speaker icon down below where you can mute the audio coming in through the camera. Um, so you've got some great controls on how you use the camera and everything else like that. And as you can see, it's got great picture. Um, we've got the live view there. There are limits, as you see just there, the limit reached on the panning angles that it can do. Um, we have ours on a shelf, and so it does have about 180 maybe 210 degrees of panning that can go all the way up and down but the rotation uh, going left to right uh, has the 360 degrees of rotation which is great now again we have ours on a bookshelf but you could mount this on the wall if you wanted to or uh, something similar to that and then you'd be able to rotate it around and get everything that you need